Oh, now you did that so consistently too that now I can't tell what's real or like what's what's the what's the sound <laughs> part and lost, what's actually just your voice. I have like, lost I'm, my I'm grip on reality. I being, don't know yeah. what exists anymore. <laughs> this is all just an elaborate ploy to gaslight me. I've never been on this stream before. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anyway, so... Nine Super Pike is playing Weepa Trainer. Did we um, see him play Weepa Trainer yet? I don't think we have. No, but he he does he has pulled one out before. Um, I'm curious as to why specifically. Well, okay, it is worth knowing that Coltman lost in Grands to Louis Jesus last week, correct? Oh. So. Me. Oh, it oh. might be like a character call out. You know, just like. Maybe. It seemed like I was watching last week. You didn't really seem to know what to do about this. Yep. So that could be what this is. Now, I would imagine um, the, the you people, the good folks at uh, House of 3000, probably no stranger to We Fit Trainer, am I right? Oh boy, are we. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I, I love Weep and Trainer. Yes, it's kind of like a Stockholm Syndrome love, but it's love yeah. nonetheless. <laughs> but yeah, oh, Weep and Trainer was actually so good. Oh, around the block. Uh, public service announcement the C4 is underneath that platform. Okay. On the left side. It's, I, I, I just. As a commentator, I feel like it is my civic duty to just point that out because True, you yeah. never know when you forget about it. Yeah. All right, almost. Oh, and just going out and taking it—that's gonna kill very, very early with the with deep breathing, Bob. All right, and now 59% is all that's been dished out onto nine, so he's able to comfortably play. Like he doesn't he's not worried about any of Snake's moves right now, you know? I mean obviously yeah. you don't want to get hit, but he doesn't he's not at the point where he's like, oh god, if I jump, I get killed by up tilt. So as we're seeing, he's able to take an aggressive stance. And the, the, the you see like how much the not like people talk about the deep breathing buff and what it like what it does to Weaver Trainer's damage output, but also just like look at the movement. Like this is a slippery, slidey, very, very fast moving character right now. Oh please god. Like a moth to a right. flame. Wow, just yeah. calmly standing in between those two explosions. Uh, nine Super Pi, unfazed. And 167, um, yep. Yeah, that is a that is an overfilled balloon. When inserting yourself, remember to keep breathing. So I, mean, I wonder if I wonder if Coltman has a character problem. Cause this is uh, the second week in a row that I've seen him struggling against a Wii Fit. Oh god, that, he's gonna play yeah, Dr. Looks, Mario. Is that is You're that a right. fact? That's what he did last week versus Louis that, Jesus. Oh? He played Doc. He did play Doc. You're absolutely right. We're gonna get the Doc. There's no way he's and not then, going Doc. There's no way. What if this, oh God. A, what what if this is a galaxy brain strategy from Nine Super Pi to force out the Doc Wario matchup? Um, like that would probably like, put well, the because of the, the way counter picks work. <laughs> Put the Wefa trainer on the bench with put the Wefa trainer on the bench with the I'm just saying like I didn't think that far ahead into it but what if <laughs> I mean no it is worth noting that like the whoever has the lead has character counter pick advantage so mm. we're probably going to be seeing the doc come out I would guess um oh, not yet it's and still snake Oh still snake all right yeah. so well yes he did go he did go snake two games uh, against Three, Louis Jesus before switching to the Doc. One, so if we see go. another decisive game now, we're probably going to see Dr. Mario come out, but as and for right now... All right, so he's changing up his style. He's, he, you know, Snake is his main, and he does have faith in the character. So first, just change a little bit what you're doing and see if that works. And it's, it's also worth noting, Col Coleman's back is not against the wall just yet. Um, this is a best of five, so... Oh, what a parry! Yep, and that's that's like you see somebody sit like you see somebody just like sitting in shield. They're they're scouting out uh, sitting in shield when you're above them, like waiting to fall in aerial. They're scouting out parries for sure. <gasps> you're dead! You're dead! Sorry, thanks for playing. Was that? Did he catch him dropping shield? What did he even drop shield to do? I I mean dropping shield and also like the the most homie di I've seen all night. <laughs> 
Okay, so now I we're mean, playing I don't know if would have helped him there, actually, because that was the Wii Fit Trainer deep breathing at like 100%. Yeah. Snake is heavy, I don't know. Though. Yeah, it I mean, like, it might not have helped, but, it, like, it, it, like, it might not have mattered, but Coleman definitely not doing themselves any favors. Yeah, and it, it also can affect you mentally when you're just like, oh, man, I'm not even DIing these moves correctly. You know, it can ex add extra to the psych out. And right now, when he's down by this much, when, you know, nine is this comfortably bleeding, Yeah. Any any extra psych out, that's just, you don't want to deal with that. The crazy thing, too, is, like, um, we don't think about Wii Fit Trainer. I don't think, like, we don't think about Wii Fit Trainer as being, like, the, like a super slippery, runaway, hard-to-hit character. And not only that, like, you don't think, like, Wii Fit Trainer's not this hard to kill. Like, I swear she, I swear this character is not that hard to well, kill. Well, she does get and a little it, bit of a, uh, of a defense buff when she uses deep breathing, correct? Right, yeah. And like the, the the heels are like that's not nothing, but like that's this is just like, um, the, and this is just like being hard to kill by virtue of just like running circles around your opponent. Yeah, and this honestly, this style of weep it very aggressive. You know, there are times where he'll retreat to the ledge, you know, he'll kind of try and take it easy, but he's also totally comfortable running, jumping in, trying to get things started on his own, despite the fact that he has a full stock lead, even more now as he's since lapped Col Coltman in, yeah. in percent. This might be the most aggro we fit trainer I've ever seen. Oh, oh, oh. my god. And that's like, the oh my god. And that's it. I think we're gonna see the dock. I, I after Snake. after that game two, I, I don't think Snake is the right Snake. call for this. <laughs> wow. Um, and also, can we like, see that I first mean, stock? The one that ended with the yeah, the sure. forward smash. Yeah, for sure. I'm curious if we can see what move he was doing because uh, I looks. thought he dropped shield. Oh my god. Two first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, he was way lower percent than I thought. Yeah. Oh, wow. He was way lower percent that than was, I thought. Oh, God. That was absolutely DI. Oh, I I, I, didn't, I did not realize. Really? He wow. Was... I saw like that... 90 after the hit. I didn't think about the fact that that meant he was at 69 when that forward smash nice. connected. Sheesh. Nice. Think, nice. I mean, I, I I I saw it. I knew. I just I didn't want to. I was in the middle of a thought. I didn't want to come. If, there, right. if yeah, there's yeah. any way to go, right? <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, I guess if it has to happen, if it's gotta happen. <laughs> you ever thought about how you'd want to go? <laughs> oh. All right. So yeah, what's the? I wonder what. I really wonder what the play is here from Coltman. Oh. Uh, oh, he's oh, staying. No. Okay, all right. Um, we'll see how this goes. Uh, those last two games were very, very dominant. But, you know, that last game in particular, super early lead for nine. Um, yeah. And, oh, okay, neat, C4. Uh, if he doesn't manage to get something like that, and that was kind of a flub on Coltman's part with that that very questionable DI. So mm. already, yeah, he's, his, instead of switching characters, he's switching approaches. And his new approach is, I am going nowhere near you. I don't his have- His new approach is, don't. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but have you thought of no? Yeah, and clearly Coltman has. And I'm, I'm happy to see this because I like, this is where, like, this is where you need to remind yourself of your character's strengths. Like, Snake is a good character. Snake is a good character that does a lot of damage and can be very, very, very oppressive. Um, and like, just like just a momentary return to just lobbing grenades, lobbing grenades, using Nikita, setting down C4, and being your oppressive from range. Sometimes that's like just a mental reset that you might need in order to like you know get a fresh start in this matchup and try you know just try something. Yeah. One of the only problems though with this is that. Uh, Snake no. Loves oh, sheesh. Snake loves to trade, but when you're doing the trade at long range, we Fit Trainer is actually winning out. You'll notice that, like, definitely, definitely, Nine has taken more hits than Coltman. 
but they're almost even in percent. That C4 definitely gave him a big boost, but uh, like if he's not careful, he can die. Coltman rather can can die pretty easily. Yeah. In the wrong, in like the wrong position. And it's it's almost ironic that like the last game was t uh, was town, and we're on Smashville now. And Coltman's strategy of like slowing the game down is so much more effective here on the smaller stage than it was on town. Also, that platform is messing with volleyball. True, true. Like, and now he's, Coltman he's... with the stock lead. Oh, and we're seeing... Okay, now we're seeing that aggressive Wii Fit that was sort of hyping things up at the end of the last game. Okay, he's fine. <laughs> okay. okay. I mean, good dash attack out of the corner. And now, uh, trade damage here, like, you, you gotta be, you gotta be pretty content to take trades here as Snake, because damage on, damage on Wii Fit is so valuable here. Like, getting Wii Fit yeah. from, like, 41 to 81 is huge. Yeah, once again, because, like, he's, once he's no longer comfortable going for these aggressive approaches, because he has to fear things like the up tilt, like a forward Whoa. tilt, that severely limits his, uh, you know, nines neutral. Yeah. And now nine, nine even like slowly, it's like gradually adjusting to this slower pace of play. And now nine seems to really be like comfortable in this like kind of war of attrition that Coleman is committing, committing well, playing here. One thing is he's getting off the ledge. He's not camping the ledge like he was before. That strategy True. definitely, you know, Coleman was kind of struggling with it earlier on. Whoa. He's figured it out now. And not only that, he's figured out how to get these kills just Turning yes. around, barely outspacing the forward tilt, and that up tilt of his is just so powerful. We now have Coltman in what could possibly turn into a very substantial lead. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay, so I, I do want to thank Coltman for restoring some normalcy here, because I said in the last game, like, we've been trainers not this hard to kill. And thank you, Coltman, for, like, remember or not remembering, but, like, thank you, Coltman, for demonstrating how good Snake Up Tilt is at killing Weaver Trainer on Smash Bill. That's all I needed to see. Yeah, and also now he's getting more of those like normal hits in. Like, you know, mm, his yeah, tilts, yeah, yeah, yeah. which are so much more damaging. Like, Snake's damage output from his, just his, all of his normals is so high. No, oh, no, no. Oh my God. Oh, no. <laughs> the sniper, sniper wolf, the God world. damn it. He went for that super, the call out, because he went for, like, he's upbeat. I think I saw the Cypher that, come out. That was... Uh, did he? Let me see. Yeah, Cypher yeah. came out. Wow. So it's still strong enough. That's insane. Because, yeah, that, like, that was Col like that was Coltman, like, with as much momentum as we saw from Coltman that set. Like, that was, yeah. that was the best chance of winning a game. And then, deep breathing forward tilt, header, you're dead. Sorry. It, like shake my hand. <laughs> that, like that's a, like that's a, that's honestly like that's a shake my hand. That's a shake my hand play. Damn. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, it felt like Coltman was starting to adjust to the point where, you know, in in an alternate timeline when he dodged that soccer ball, if he managed to get to a game four, I think he maybe, you know, was figuring out the matchup, but he just didn't do it quick enough. There's only so much time you have, even in top six where you have best three out of five. So that's going to be uh, nine moving on in the winner's bracket where he then faces off against Utopian Ray in winner's finals. I'm not sure if we're having that yet or whether we're going to hop into the loser's bracket. Can we get confirmation uh, on that, Devin? I, we'll probably just go straight into winner's finals, yeah. Mm -mm. All right. So nine, not going to have much of a breather.